Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sam World here with ADSR and today we are going to be using Sooth to clean up some raspy, some, you know, some, some diva-ish kind of uplifters, white noise uplifters. Now, making these uplifters, guys, sound designers don't really care about whether they're going to fit your mix or not because they don't know what songs you're making. So we need to use Sooth to kind of tame them a little bit because sometimes they can get a little bit out of control. For instance, in this one, you're going to see there's a very nasty frequency that's going to blow your eardrum. So I do suggest you lower your volume right now. And it's going to sound like this. Towards the end, there's that frequency. Oh, it was just nasty. So we're going to be using Sooth to suit in that down a bit to you know get it a little bit more like pleasant but still maintain that effect that creates a lot of tension for our buildups we're also going to have another one here and it does the same exact thing here in this frequency as you guys can see so the way we're going to be using sooth guys is when you open it up by default you're going to notice it's going to look like this very simple to use pretty much here we have the bandwidth and this is going to be the areas that sooth is going to attack so we want to see what areas this this white noise is really getting harsh on so let's hear it right now without suit on and you can see around 1k around there that's where it's acting up so let's move this guy over here to around 1k let's put this guy at very high range where this kind of peaks here which is going to be around i don't know around 3000 so let's add that there and then we're going to increase the depth a bit on this guy okay and now let's hear how this sounds like when we turn on sooth so it sounds a little bit pleasant but let's hear it from the beginning Now with it off. So yeah, you can see the difference. Now, let's say you don't want it to duck it that much, then you just lower the depth. And you know, apply it, you know, experiment with it to get it to sound cleaner. But you can see there, it's backing you up because no longer will your listeners go like oh my god that 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 noise just you know gave me tinnitus i'm gonna sue you so make sure that you protect yourself and get soothe and soothing up those um white uplifters now let's do one more um one more example here with this next white uplifter so it's acting up on it about it Woo, that was nasty so around this frequency here 3.16 again we have more culprits there so let's apply this right there And we are no longer getting sued. Now, you guys might be going like, why don't we just duck those frequencies? And like I explained in the previous video I made for Sooth to clean up your sounds. It's the fact that Sooth cares about the fact that when that problematic frequency happens, it's it's not happening. It's not going to duck that much for you, okay? If it's there, it's going to duck the crap out of it. But if it's not there, it's going to allow the sound to breathe and it, in, in my honest in my honest opinion the moment i put sooth on these wide uplifters sound cleaner than they did before sooth so sooth is an amazing product you should put it on your effects um bus you know you bus every effect you have and then you apply this on it just to make sure that there's no bad resonating frequencies that are going to ruin your mix that are going to activate your compressor your limiter when it doesn't need to be activated all right guys so this has been sam World with adsr guys make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't for daily tutorials and i'll see you guys next time you guys have an amazing day and don't get sued and put sooth on your effects come on